Rain, private detective Scott Shelby is on the trail of the origami killer. Events lead Shelby to a corner store, but before he leaves, a robber interrupts. Let's take a look at the many ways this scene can play out. Evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Okay. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Said he didn't want to talk. Might have known something. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that then fucking register or not? Kid might no, panic sir. if I try anything. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man! You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if What's you don't do problem? what I say now! <laughs> you shall God not be robbing principles. my register, sir. Always said they were a waste of time. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Christ! Goddamn idiot! Open the register! Don't make me fucking kill you! No, sir. That I cannot do! I'll waste you, man. I ain't joking. I swear to God, man, I'll blow your fucking brains out! Fuck! I'm gonna count to three. If you haven't opened the register by the count of three, I swear to God, man, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. One! There is almost nothing in the register, sir. You wouldn't kill a man for a few dollars. Two! It is not right, sir! It is not right! Three! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I should have done something. Maybe I could have prevented this. I wish I had lived long enough to look into the eyes of the man who killed my race. Too much anger here. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now don't to leave around. before it is too late. Just don't. Christ! Turn goddamn idiot! Open the register! Hey, you! Come here! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened. And you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. 
And now, give me the money. Don't move, sir. I'll call for an ambulance. Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now... Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, this I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. But I can see now that I was wrong. <laughs>